What up, bro? Welcome back to Ill Reviews, the channel for the movie hits and the music junkies, where I keep you up to date on what's popping in these streets. But make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, because I will be doing at least two movie or music reviews every single week. Though, y'all ready? Let's get it. All right, world, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. We're about to check out the new project from the one and only, the icon, Shania Twain. It's called Queen of Me. Okay, um, disclaimer, I'm not a Shania Twain fan, so... Just going into that, just know that you feel me. I'm not a, I'm not a fan, uh, but I am a fan of good songs. So I feel like after all this time, it's time for me to give her music a chance. Uh, I don't know too much about Shania Twain, honestly. Um, I really just know it from that song called uh, "That Don't Impress Me Much." I think that's the only song that I kind of like cognitively really know that that's her. You feel me? But. Like I said, I don't want to give her music a chance and see, you know what I'm saying? Like what she be on. I know she's an icon, I know she's a legend in her field. Um, but if you don't know who she is, she's a 57 year old Canadian singer. Um, this is her ninth album. And um, yeah, man, and I actually like this cover art. That's a good, that's a good picture, good cover art. Uh, and this reaction review will be, um, I'm gonna put it in the pop reviews tab on this channel. You know what I'm saying? It'll be in there with the other, 50 albums that I reviewed over the years um, kind of in the same vein and I'm kind of reviewing this and rating it against those that I've reviewed in the past you feel me so um, like I said this project is called Queen of Me let's get into the music and see what we think let's go the first track is entitled Giddy Up I left my heart out of water in a hole somewhere in small town Ohio down the way Okay, that first track is kind of whimsical, um, kind of upbeat. Uh, first thing I noticed, like I really don't care for the texture of her vo voice on that song. Um, I think the track is cool, but I don't think it's a standout. Next track. Track two is entitled Brand New. Let's check it out. Okay, I ain't mad at that one. I like the vibe on that. It's straight. She said, you will always be the same you, but I'm a brand new me. I actually think um, I like that better than the first track. And I think it was cool for a, like a, it was like a breakup slash moving on track, uh, type vibe. You know what I'm saying? It's straight. I ain't mad at that one. Track three is entitled Waking Up Dreaming on the verse. She says, it's got to be now or never. Time ain't wait forever. So let's start waking up dreaming. Um, I like that, you feel me? Waking up, dreaming. It's basically a song, in my opinion, about seizing the moment. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like the song arrangement, but again, on that one, I really wasn't impressed by, with her vocals, you feel me? Maybe I was expecting her to sing at a higher level, uh, and I'm just not hearing it yet. Track four is entitled Best Friend. She says, you're the one who picked me up when I've had too much. The one who called my mama. Um, I think that's like a dope song subject matter concept, you feel me? Um, I respect it and I think that track is cool, but it's it's not a standout in my opinion. Track five is entitled Pretty Liar. Uh, on this one said you're such she said you're such an effing liar, your pants on fire. Yo, that saying is at least 30 years old. At least. I couldn't get past that. No cap. Track six is entitled Inhale Exhale Air. Let's check it out. Okay, um, I actually like the musicality of that one, you feel me? The arrangement was straight, um, but I couldn't catch exactly what she mean by the metaphor, what are you going to do without air? You know what I'm saying? So if you know exactly what she was saying on that song, uh, let me know in the comments. Next track. 
Track seven is entitled Last Day of Summer. She said, last time we were together, the first thing I remember every September comes. Um, basically on that track, she's reminiscing over a dis like basically distinct, very distinct details of a past romance. Um, and honestly, that song sounds perfect for a movie. Like that'll fit in on a scene, you feel me? I'm pretty sure she got her publishing and license together. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Last Day of Summer, if that appears in a movie within the next year or so. It was decent. Track eight is entitled Queen of Me. That's a title track. Um, it sounds like a single woman empowerment song. She said, uh, I don't need a king. I don't need a ring because I'm the queen of me. She said she's just so busy with a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, yeah, I call Cap. That's that's Cap. At almost 60, she's definitely tired of smashing random dudes. And it's only, time, only so many times you can go on trips alone. I call Cap on that song, but it's the title track. Uh, maybe she really feel like that, but I think it's just for a moment. I don't believe her at all. Track 9 is entitled Got It Good. Uh, I thought that was kind of catchy. She said, you've been down lately, but I got your back and I got it good. Um, the problem with that song to me, it was like it was mostly hook and bridge. The verses and the lyrics, uh, I just feel like I needed more verses and more lyrics. Like I wanted her to flesh out exactly as she was saying, but she just like, do the verses for like maybe four bars i feel like six at the most and then it goes to the bridge and the hook so i don't know i just felt that was kind of um, i just felt like i just wanted more lyrics i guess track 10 is entitled number one our eyes are closed but we're not asleep we're all in the way beneath the sheet the pictures going down my back and my back Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, as the CD progressed, actually, the vocals seemed a little bit better than the first two or three tracks, you feel me? They sounded a little bit fuller or richer. I don't know if it's a mixing thing, or maybe like if she was tired those uh, other days that she was recording, but the vocals actually did get better as the, pro as the album went on. <laughs> if she made these specifically for that reason because i feel like some of these songs just belong on a cheesy rom-com you know what i'm saying i wonder if she just did this on purpose like yo y'all might like them but i'm really trying to get these on some soundtracks because that sounds like a little another song that's gonna be on a rom-com track 11 is entitled not just a girl she said i packed my suitcases i'm going places i am going to rule the world um Again, I'm not mad at the track. The vocals on this again was more um, fuller and richer. Um, not bad. And the final track on this project is entitled The Hardest Stone. Let's check it out. Curiosity, everybody knows how it goes for a cat. Okay, and that's it. That's all um, 12 tracks of this new project from Shania Twain. Uh, I'll tell y'all what I feel like her strongest tracks were. Uh, brand new, Waking Up Dreaming, Last Days of Summer, and I think hardest, the hardest stone uh, probably can go in there too. It's to me, it's like four of the best tracks on this project. But um, one thing I was missing while I was listening to it, I feel like I didn't really get a feel of exactly who she was as a person which make me wonder like is she writing her music or are these all songs that somebody wrote and she just performed them which uh most likely that's how the game is these days um but like i said at the beginning of this video i'm not a shania twain fan this album this particular album didn't make me a fan um so if y'all got like another album that y'all think i should check out and probably you know what i'm saying convince me but yeah to me this was cool um but it wasn't nothing mind blowing compared to what I, what I've heard and what I've reviewed over the last few few years. But I still would give it a three out of five. You feel me? Um, it has some creative subject matters in here uh, that I can respect. But besides that, I don't know about the replay value. So I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I'm pretty sure the um, Shania Twain's her fans is gonna rate it higher than that. But that's just how I look at it right now. Um, so yeah. Let me know what y'all thought was the best track on this project. Any other comments, you know what I'm saying, we'll we discuss. Until next time, you already know. I'm out. Chill.
I respect. I had to earn my respect. Wake up, I plot and I plot. Used to have dimes in my sock. Now I got dimes in my phone. Now I obliterate songs. I keep an eye on my cake. I keep an eye on the fake. You that's to lose your own plan. You that's to lose your own plan. All of my lessons was hard.